Hey guys, what's up? It's Connor Mitchell, head whiz of Dragon Rider Network, and today we're doing a review on Mailbox. This is the brand new Mailbox app that came out for iOS only about a week ago, and I was one of the fortunate few who didn't have to wait a week to get it. So anyway, there has been a lot of talk about this app, but now let's finally get into it. So this app is supposed to bring a whole new experience to mail on iOS. Let's go ahead and go into an overview of what that could possibly be. The goal of Mailbox is pretty simple. It wants you to have a clean and organized mail experience. The main point of Mailbox is in fact to get your inbox down to zero, which very, very few of us actually have the convenience of from time to time. This kind of turns your digital mailbox into your mailbox that you would typically have in your home. Basically, when you have things in your inbox, they're things that you're reading or are going to read. The things that are in your archives are the ones that you've already read and you don't want to worry about anymore, but you still want to have on hand. And then, of course, you have a deleted column for anything that you just want to get rid of, like spam messages or any other kind of things that you really just don't want to hear from anymore. However though, what's really cool about this app is the way you can actually organize your messages when you receive them. When you get a message and you want to put it into archives, what you do is you just slide a little bit across and then it is then put into archives. And if you want to delete it, you slide even further across, release, and it is then deleted. What's really nice though is that you can actually have an email circle back like a reminder you would have in calendar so that way you can be reminded of an email. Say you were having dinner or something and you wanted to have that email sent back to you again and you wanted to be reminded of it. You can just slide to the left and then you can actually have it so that way it will remind you on a certain time. Say later that day, later that week, or someday which could be any time from a month to several months down the road. So that way, if you want to surprise yourself with an email, then you can do that. And what's cool about this app is that, of course, you can add multiple mailing accounts. For instance, I have my personal account alongside with my Dragon Rider Network business account. Now, what I really do like about this app is that it definitely gives much more of a metro feel to another iOS app that we pretty much use every day. A lot like the app Clear, Mailbox really does give you that blocky style that you would typically find only in Metro devices. This is what I really like because this is definitely a layout that you want to see on mobile devices and would work across any platform in iOS, be it on the iPhone or the iPad. Another feature that I like, and I'm not sure if this is a setting I need to turn on in Apple's mail application, but Mailbox actually refreshes and gets new mail notifications to me even when I'm not manually refreshing the app. This is really good because I'm not going into the app all the time to check mail, but it is really nice though so that way when I do get a mail message, then it can ping me about that. And what I also like about it is that it can actually push those email messages out into Notification Center. So that way you can see them when you swipe down into Notification Center or you can have it set to where it reminds you in the home screen. What I also like about this app is that it allows you to actually put your messages into lists. What you end up gaining from this is that you can actually have archive email messages in different sets of lists. Say you're planning an event and you want to get emails from everybody who's joining in on that event and you want to have a place for only those emails, you can swipe them across and put them in that one organization tab. So that way you can have them all right there, all for when you're ready to go. And finally, one of my favorite parts about this app is that when you actually go to write new emails, it gives you this brand new look that actually feels a lot more like you're writing a text message than an email. This makes it seem a lot more like actual communication rather than the days of older email that just felt like a very bland experience. And since this is running on a mobile platform, it actually offers a dedicated button to allow you to attach a photo, whether by taking it with your phone or choosing one from your library. This makes it really, really nice to add and send photos, especially since the only way we actually do send photos is through email. This makes the experience so much easier. Now, not all is perfect with this one app. One of the things I do miss on Mailbox that I actually loved from iOS's mail application is the addition of VIP contacts. Basically, what this would allow you to do is it would allow you to actually have highlighted contacts where whenever they would actually email you 
would give you a notification in Notification Center about that one person. So far, I haven't really found any specific way to do that in Mailbox. However, though, I am hoping that they do come up with some way to make it a little bit more elaborate when trying to differentiate different email contacts. Another thing I don't really like about Mailbox is that if you do have multiple accounts linked to your Mailbox application, if you're in the overall inbox, it is quite hard to differentiate these emails from what I've seen. You really just have to go into the one individual inboxes in order to tell the emails apart a lot easier than you would be able to, than just going in and checking one by one. However though, I would really like to see them make it a little bit more easy to differentiate these emails in the entire inbox. That's one of my things anyway. And finally, the last thing I don't really like is that you cannot uh, move multiple items to the archives or to the deleted column. Now there is a feature if you scroll all the way to the bottom where you can just swipe and you move all of your emails over to archive or the deleted column. However though, you cannot select multiple emails and do it for a select few. This is definitely troubling for me because I have a few accounts like Twitter and YouTube and a lot of other accounts like that that just send me a lot of emails that are okay, but I can typically scan them and then just go right through them. And I would really like to see Mailbox try and add this into their next update. But overall though, guys, Mailbox is an absolutely amazing mail experience for iOS. I strongly recommend you go and get it for yourself and get in line because I believe there are about 700,000 people currently waiting their place to get online. And this is because since Mailbox is a brand new service, they have to get the servers up and running. And there have been a few problems with the servers now and again, but that's only because they're a brand new service and they're bringing on a massive amount of people. And for the first week, I definitely have to say they are quite impressive. So anyway, guys, go check them out for yourself. Links will be down in the description below. Also be sure to subscribe to the channel for more content like this and check out all of my social links in the description below. Also be sure to check out Dragon Rider Network for all of your tech news, tech content, and everything else tech. Anyway guys, I've been Connor Mitchell and I will catch you guys at the next video. Talk to you then.